We have a new topic for the next few lessons, and that is tener expressions. So what exactly is a tener expression? Well, you'll find out in the next couple of minutes. In order to be able to use a tener expression in Spanish, you have to know how to conjugate the verb tener. And this is exactly what you learned in our last few lessons. The expression tener frío, so what exactly does that mean? Well, literally, tener means to have and frío means cold. So what does this mean when you translate or interpret this to English? Well, tener frío simply means to be cold. And this is to be cold in the sense of feeling cold, not being a cold person. So if tener frío means to be cold, then how do you say in Spanish, I am cold? Think about it for a second. Don't translate this word for word. You have to use tener frío. So here's a little hint. If you want to say, I am cold, in Spanish, you literally have to say, I have cold. So let's start with I have. Yo tengo. Yo tengo. So the next part is simply the word frío. Put it all together. Yo tengo frío. Remember that the form tengo only goes with yo, so the yo is not necessary. So most Spanish speakers will simply say, tengo frío. So what does tengo frío mean? Well, again, when you translate it or interpret it back to English, tengo frío means I am cold. Tengo frío. I am cold. Tengo frío. I am cold. I am cold. Tengo frío. Again, don't get caught up in the literal meaning of tengo frío. Just accept that it means I am cold in the sense of I feel cold. Now the fun part, let's apply what you've learned. Okay, so you know how to say I'm cold, which is tengo frío, tengo frío. So how would you tell someone you're cold using tu, and remember this means you're feeling cold, not you're a cold person. Avoid the temptation of translating literally and saying, for example, tu eres or tu estás. You have to use tener, because it's a tener expression, so you're cold. Tu Tienes frío. Tienes frío. You're cold using usted. Usted tiene frío. Usted tiene frío. He's cold. Él tiene frío. Él tiene frío. She's cold. Ella tiene frío. Ella tiene frío. Now let's take a look at the plural forms. We're cold. Tenemos frío. Tenemos frío. You're cold using vosotros. Tenéis frío. Tenéis frío. You're cold using ustedes. Ustedes tienen frío. Ustedes tienen frío. They're cold. Ellos tienen frío. Ellos tienen frío. Ellas tienen frío. Ellas tienen frío. So now how would you ask the question, am I cold? Remember to reverse the word order, so verb first, then subject pronoun. Am I cold? Tengo frío. It normally would be tengo yo frío, but we don't need to use the yo because of the tengo form. Tengo frío. Are you cold? Normally it would be tienes tu frío, but we don't need to use the tu, so tienes frío. Tienes frío. Are you cold? Using usted. ¿Tiene usted frío? ¿Tiene usted frío? Is he cold? ¿Tiene él frío? ¿Tiene él frío? Is she cold? ¿Tiene ella frío? ¿Tiene ella frío? Now the plural forms. Are we cold? ¿Tenemos frío? ¿Tenemos frío? Are you cold using vosotros in Spain? ¿Tenéis frío? ¿Tenéis frío? Are you cold using ustedes? ¿Tienen ustedes frío? ¿Tienen ustedes frío? Are they cold? ¿Tienen ellos frío? ¿Tienen ellos frío? ¿Tienen ellas frío? ¿Tienen ellas frío? Okay, well that's it for this lesson. To continue learning, click on the video that appears here on your screen to go to the next lesson. See you soon. Hasta pronto.